What is up guys? Welcome to the show. So I figured I'd shoot this video today. I was going to shoot it yesterday, but then I figured uh, it's a day out. Shoot it today. Uh, I'm going to shoot a video on my thoughts and reactions to uh, Justin Zeiger's last matchup. It happened, his farewell matchup uh, took place in the CML in Mexico, which kind of confused me because he hasn't wrestled in Mexico in like 30 years. He hasn't really made an appearance uh, in about 30 years. So it kind of confused me as to why uh, this was happening, but of course it happened, so let's get on with it. Uh, before the matchup uh, took place, of course they have that spectacle of dancers and drummers, and, or one drummer anyway, and a bunch of dancers dancing around, dressed up like Justin Liger, uh, and then, which was kind of cool to see. It was kind of a nice little spectacle thing, especially from CML, which never does stuff like that. So it was kind of nice to see, kind of refreshing to see. Uh, after that, of course, took place, the entrances happened, and the first entrance to come, the first uh, luchador to come out was, of course, uh, Nagaro. And I was, of course, really confused to see Nagaro actually walk out. I didn't think Nagaro versus Liger was a really good matchup. I would have loved to see Nagaro, uh, or I would have loved to see Justin Liger in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Probably against somebody like Mystico, Cristico, Ultimo, uh, Ultimo Guerrero, uh, even Rush, you know, kind of somebody like that. But I kind of figured it would be a teamed event or a group battle because uh, that's more common for CMLL. Uh, the next person to come out was, of course, uh, Ultimo Guerrero. Uh, then after that was Christico. And, of course, Christico was decked out in Justin Liger gear. He had Justin Liger's pants on. He had the Justin Liger mask on. He came out. <laughs> then, of course, the last person to make the entrance, of course, was Justin Liger. Uh, and the match started. Uh, so it ended up being a four corners matchup. Uh, Justin Liger versus uh, Nagaro ended up kicking things off in really just kind of a slow moving back and forth type thing. The whole thing was kind of, uh, it started off was kind of confusing, it was slow moving, it wasn't really fast paced. There was a little bit of high flying, not as much you would see in a normal or regular uh, Lucha Libre matchup. But there was a little bit of high flying, nothing really that, you know, made my jaw drop or nothing really that made me sit on the edge of my seat. I mean, the whole matchup, where, like I said, was decent back and forth, but it was really just kind of slow moving. It kind of just, you know, you wanted to watch, but you were kind of just like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, of course, uh, everybody got there in the four corners, you know, Justin got to fight everybody, really. I mean, everybody fought everybody. Um, it just, it didn't really seem like Justin really did too, too much. I mean, like, it was, he kind of sat on the outskirts for a good portion of the matchup while the other guys kind of battled, and then he kind of came in and did a little bit, and then, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it seemed like for a guy's farewell matchup, he should have been more involved. He should have been more, you know, there. Uh... But, of course, the matchup ended up ending, and, of course, Justin Liger ended up getting the pinfall. The only pinfall of the night, he won the whole matchup, stood in the ring for about 20 minutes. And when the camera panned out to the crowd, the crowd just seemed really bored. I mean, just really kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he was sitting in the ring, he was saying, you know, like, doing his little, you know, goodbye type thing. And everybody just kind of really seemed unimpressed when the camera panned out to the crowd everybody just kind of seemed like so what you know what i mean like the, there was no real huge reaction uh from the crowd that you would expect uh i guess it's probably because uh justin's not really a mexican luchador he's he doesn't you know fight in mexico he doesn't really do the mexican thing so there was really not much for the um you know lucha libre mexican audience to really grab on to it was kind of just like you know the the reactions were just seemed like everybody was just really bored at that point everybody was just really kind of not interested at that point uh, i mean like i said the, the matchup was nothing really spectacular it was it was nice to see him there because it was something that was different the whole night was uh, really nice to see because it was something different. It was, you know, it was kind of everybody was kind of out of the ordinary, uh, you know, like uh, it was a really great uh, night, but that matchup really was a letdown. It really wasn't, you know, what you would think, especially from uh, such a big legends farewell matchup. It kind of just was reminiscent of, you know, like, I don't know. It was just, it wasn't really, it wasn't really that good. I mean, the back and forth, like I said, was okay. The high flying was minimal. The, you know, technicality was, meh, you know, his involvement in the matchup was kind of 
lackluster at its best. If you haven't seen the matchup, go check out CMLL's uh, YouTube channel. It's definitely on there, but like I said, as far as matches are concerned, I'd probably give it about two and a half stars out of ten. There's a little bit of botching going on in Jushin's, uh, you know, side, but you know, all in all, it was okay. I wouldn't watch it again. I was disappointed by it, but you know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you agree with me, great. If not, let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to like, I'm subscribing over much, and I'll check you in the next video.